Hello future readers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. So here is a series of problems, problems 41 to 43. And in this series of problems, I will discuss and present solutions to problems uh, created and given in the prelim exams in the university where I am teaching uh, hydraulics. And this video discusses problems covering topics from uh, fluid properties up to buoyancy and statical stability of floating bodies. So this, is, these three problems are just the first part. So I hope that you enjoy and you learn from the solutions to these problems. Problem 41. The vertical end plate of a vat is shown below. These end sections are 2.4 meters apart. If oil if it is if it's if, if it is full of oil of specific gravity 0.86 determine the weight of oil in kilonewtons the force on the end plate of the vat so here is the given figure for the first part 41.1 the weight of oil is equal to the specific weight of oil which is specific gravity 0.86 times 9.81 times the volume of oil and the volume is the area of this section and plate times 2.4 so for the force on the end plate of the vat it is the force on this semicircular end plus hydrostatic force on this rectangular part and the hydrostatic force on this triangular end so for the weight it is equal to specific rate of oil volume of oil and the volume of oil is area of the section times 2.4 so let's compute for the area which consists of area of quarter circle, rectangle, and triangle. So the height of the rectangle is 1.2 as well as for this triangle and because it is the radius of this semi of this quarter circle. So area equals pi over 4, area of quarter circle plus area of rectangle plus area of triangle. So area is pi over 4 times 1.2 squared plus 2 times 1.2 plus 1 half or 0.5 of 1.5 times 1.2 so the area is 4.431 square meters substitute here for gamma specific weight of oil is 0.86 times 9.81 times 4.431 then times 2.4 so from there we can now compute the weight of oil equal to 89.72 kilonewtons for the second part F at the end panel so that's the centroid that's the centroid of quarter circle centroid of rectangle and centroid of triangle here so F at the end is equal to F in the quarter circle plus F in the rectangular end plus F of the triangular end the distance or HG F is gamma of oil HG times area E, area at the end, where H E is the distance from the surface of oil, zero pressure to the centroid. And for this quarter circle, it is 4 R over 3 pi. 4 times 1.2 over 3 pi. For this rectangle, it is half of 1.2, so 0.6. And for this triangle, 1 third of 1.2, so it is 0.4. So substitute here, let's factor out specific weight of oil, which is 0.86 times 9.81, and we have quantity 4 times 1.2 over 3 pi times pi over 4, 1.2 square for the area of quarter circle, plus 0.6 times 2 times 1.2, plus 0.4 of 1 half or 0.5 of 1.5 times 1.2. So computing for the force at the end is equal to 20.05 kilonewtons. So problem 42, 
an 800 gram of oil is subjected to a pressure of 200 kilopascals and the volume is 890 milliliters. The pressure is then increased to 600 kilopascals, causing the volume to reduce to 889.6 milliliters. So compute the modulus of elasticity of oil in gigapascals. So let us involve or set up the equation in terms of density change because we are given here an 800 gram of oil. So bulk modulus of elasticity is change in pressure divided by relative change in density. So there's no negative sign preceded because the density increases when the pressure is increased. So it is delta P over delta density over density where density is the initial density of oil. So delta P over change in density over density which can be rewritten as delta P density over delta density. Where delta P is final pressure minus initial pressure, so it is 600 minus 200 kilopascals or 400 kilopascals, while change in density is final density minus initial density, and density is mass over volume. The mass remains constant here. So E sub B equals Pf minus P sub I times density initial over final density minus initial density. The initial density is 800 grams over initial volume 890, while the final density is 800 divided by 889.6. So substitute E sub B equals 600 minus 200 times 800 over 890 all over 800 over 889.6 minus 800 over 890. Computing for E sub B, it is equal to 889600 kilopascals. Then we multi multiply 1000 to change that to pascals. And it is 0.8896 times 10 to the 9 pascals. Since 10 to the 9 pascals is gigapascals, then bulk modulus of elasticity is 0.8896 gigapascals for this oil. Problem 43. An open YouTube contains mercury which stands 150 mm above the bottom of the U in both legs. The constant internal diameter of the U in both legs is 1 cm. 20 milliliters of water is poured into the open end of the right leg. Determine the vertical distance in millimeters between the free surfaces of water and mercury. Then 43.2, how many milliliters of oil of specific gravity 0.84 should be poured into the open end of the left leg so that the free surfaces of oil and water will be at the same level? No liquid is spilled in these operations. So for the solution, let's draw the figure first. The normal level is when the surfaces of mercury are 150 mm from the bottom as shown. So that's the normal level, 150 mm. Since the legs are of equal cross-sectional area, so the rise in mercury here is equal to the fall of mercury in this side, but we will not make it a problem. We'll just consider the vertical distance of mercury or the displacement deflection of mercury due to the pouring of water into this open end of the right leg and we will call the height of water as h sub w. Since volume equals pi radius square times h w, we equate that to 20 ml and 20 ml is also 20 cubic centimeters. So pi 0.5 cm quantity square, the radius times the height of water equals 20 cubic centimeters. Solving for height of water, it is 25.46 centimeters. We then mark points, important points here. Then we sum up pressure from one point to the other. And so that we can solve for the deflection of mercury, which is denoted H in this problem. So let's call that point one. Point two. And we jump across to this point, the pressure is the same. So point 
2 prime then 0.1 prime because the pressure at 1 is 0 1 prime is also 0 so sum up pressure let's call that H and let's call this vertical distance between the three surfaces of water and mercury as delta so we then sum up pressure from 1 to 1 prime so we have P1 plus specific weight of water times HW which is 25.46 so that's the sum of pressure from 1 to 2 then 2 to 2 prime the equation is unchanged then 2 prime to 1 prime so it is rising so minus specific weight of mercury 13.6 times specific weight of water times H then equals P1 prime which is equal to zero. So let's simplify this. Zero plus gamma W 25.46 minus 30.6 specific weight of water H equals zero. Divide everything by specific weight of water. Of water 25.46 minus 13.6 H equals zero. So from here we can solve for H 25.46 over 13.6 and that is 1.872 cm. From the figure H plus delta equals HW, so 1.872 plus delta equals 25.46, then we can now compute the vertical distance between the free surfaces of water and oil, or oil and water. So delta equals 25.46 minus 1.872, it is 23.59 cm, and we express that to mm as stated here. So times 10, it is 235.9 mm. So that's the difference between the free surfaces of water and oil. For the second part, how many ml of oil should be poured into the other leg so that the levels will be the same or equal or, or lying on the horizontal plane. So by pouring oil in this side, the surface of mercury will drop a little and the other side will rise a little as shown in the next figure so this is the normal level 150 mm from the bottom and this is the oil place so let's call that one a a this line then a b we jump across this point same levels homogeneous fluid so b prime and this one is point C, then there A prime. So we have, let's call this new deflection of mercury as H of 1 and the height of oil as H sub O. So this is 25.46, remember, and change. Then this is the level, same level between the surface, free surfaces of oil and water. And therefore, let's call that HO. To solve for the volume of oil, then we must solve HO. We sum up pressure from A to A prime in this path along this path pressure summation. So we have P sub A going down plus gamma of water times 25.46. Then we jump across to B prime. The equation is unchanged. We rise by H1. And this is mercury, so 13.6 minus 13.6 gamma of water times H1. Then this is oil going up is minus, again, specific weight of oil, uh, 0.84 gamma of water times HO equals 0, equals P sub A prime. So substituting P A prime and P A, which is, which are 0, so 0 plus gamma of water, 25.46 minus 13 gamma of water H1, Minus 0.84 gamma of water, gamma of water HO equals zero. Since gamma of water is common, let's divide everything by specific weight of water. So we have 25.46 minus 13.6 H1 minus 0.84 of HO equals zero. Call this equation one. Then for the second equation, we look at the figure. The sum of H1 and HO is equal to 25.46. 
So H1 plus HO equals 25.46. So HO equals 25.46 minus H1. And we substitute the... Sorry, H1 is 25.46 minus HO. And we substitute this, the value of H1 into equation 1 so that we can solve HO. So 25.46 minus 30.6 times the quantity 25.46 minus HO minus 0.84 of HO equals 0. Solving for HO, HO is equal to 13.6 times 25.46 minus 25.46 divided by the quantity 13.6 minus 0.84 and solving for HO, HO is 25.14 cm. The volume of oil therefore required so that the surfaces of oil and water will be the same or at the same level is pi radius square times HO. Volume of oil 5.5 cm quantity squared times HO 25.14 cm. So this is in cubic centimeters or cc which is also ml. So V sub O is 19.74 cc or 19.74 ml. So that's it for this problem.